Hi class, uh, I'll put this video together um, to go over the Who You Are poster. So you have uh, a resource to go to to guide you in doing it um, and finishing up what you don't get done in class. Now, in the middle of the poster, I'd like to have a picture or a caricature of you. This could be uh, a drawing, a pencil, or markers, whatever. But if you're not very comfortable with that, and you don't have that kind of skill set, or nor do you want to kind of show that off, you're more than welcome to put a picture there um, and you can kind of tape it down on the back but remember if it's it's, a, it's an important picture you know put it down in a manner where you can easily retrieve it and it's not going to ruin the picture the top left corner i want you guys to put down a favorite place that you like going and this can be different things it can be a, a favorite vacation place that you would love you love going to uh, it could be a grandparent's house um, it could be a special place that's in your house even. You, know, you can interpret that question however you want. Future career and why is in the top right corner. You want to know what you think you see yourself doing um, when you go to college, then getting out of college as a career, and then why you want to go that direction. Your favorite food. I want you to identify what your favorite food is. You can have a couple things here if you want to, but I'm all kind of interested in, the, in what things you enjoy food-wise. Um, and then your, your favorite thing to do. So if you have free time and you could do anything, you know, what would be your, your favorite thing to do? Now, if your favorite thing to do is go to Disneyland, then your favorite place would be Disneyland. And there's Disneyland there. But your favorite thing to do is more of an activity. So is it skiing? Is it playing soccer? You know, is it mountain climbing? I don't know what that is. You know, playing Fortnite it can be a, a slew of different things. You need to decide that and then share it. Now, there's going to fill up pretty quickly, so when you're doing this, kind of plan out the area where you're going to be writing this down and, and think about how much room you're going to need. And uh, once you have that done, you can put it together. You could, one strategy for this, if you think you're going to have an issue putting it directly on the paper, is you could get the index cards and use the back side of them and write it out, then cut those index cards down and glue it on. You know, it's really up to you, but. I want to give you that option because I kind of thought of it. Now, uh, I look forward to seeing these done, and we'll see how much we can get done in class, and then over the weekend, kind of finish those up, and then when you get back, we'll share those, we'll put them up in the room, then we can get a chance to look back at them uh, later on at the end of the year because the amazing thing about sixth grade is you guys emotionally and physically change so much from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. And it's fun to look back, and plus it gives me an opportunity and everybody else a little bit more about you and what makes you well, you. Look forward to seeing you guys in class and take care.